says this is not a one-man job. This is a two-man job. Hey, what's up? Hi, how's it going? It is about 9.30. I didn't vlog anything yesterday, and I'm sorry, but I was so all over the place. I would start cleaning in one room, and then I would take something to another room, and then I would start doing stuff in there and forget all about what I was doing before, and on and on and on. It just kept going. It was terrible. <laughs> but we finally got quite a bit cleaned up. I'm pretty much done with the kitchen, minus Travis's stuff on the counter now from when he got home this morning. This is really the only stuff we have left to unpack. We got our tree up yesterday. Calvin and I did that, and I've been cleaning. I even got some decorations up. The night before, Travis helped me put this up, and we also put these up in the hallway. This stuff is pretty much done. Calvin's room is done, but you already saw that. He has race cars ready to go. I noticed something this morning, that someone is here. Someone we have not seen in about a year. That rhymed. But Calvin needs to find who it is. There's someone here. Who do you think it is? I don't know. Who visits us at Christmas time? Santa. And? Who comes before Santa? I don't know. You don't remember? Uh-uh. All right, well, look around, see if you can find him. This. No. What is it? I don't know what you're talking about. Don't touch, remember? Why? <gasps> Who is that? Please continue to be a good boy, helping your mom and dad. Love, sparkles, and spaghetti. Well, I can only touch that, that one. No, you can't touch him, remember? Do you want to read the books later? Why are you sad? They're here. They always bring you awesome stuff. Why are you sad? Do you need to go back to bed? Bro, what are you so upset about? Okay, go lay yourself down. Well, that did not exactly go as I had expected. I figured he would be more happy. We couldn't put up the elf until we had our household stuff. And now that we have, he's not happy about it because he wanted to play with it. You know the rules, you can't touch the elf. Huh, Zeke? For whatever reason, every morning I check our bank account. I always look to see how much money we have because I monitor like what stuff has been paid and whether stuff is coming out of our account that we know about and such like that. So I looked this morning and we have been for the last, I don't even know how long, fighting to get the money for Travis's travel voucher so we could pay the GTC because we weren't about to pay it out of pocket. So we finally got the money to pay it and Travis tried to pay it online and for some reason it tried paying out of a wrong account so it charged our wrong account twice, but there wasn't the funds in there to take it, so it kind of got returned like a check, return check fee. We got charged $29 twice on that account. And then once he finally got it right the other day, they charged it this morning or last night, it was $2,410.28 is how much we had to pay on his GTC. They took that out of our account twice. So they charged us $4,820 to pay this. Yeah, I'm gonna probably burn Why would you do that? Is there not someone that monitors this stuff that like makes sure this isn't happening? Who charges someone's account that much twice? Who's not paying attention? So if Travis doesn't call them later, and give them an earful. I sure will, because that is, excuse my language, horse feathers. That should not be happening. On a lighter note, I got a cactus yesterday. I named her Agnes. Isn't she cute? What do you think, Ziki? Isn't she cute? Isn't she cute? They still have Christmas trees. We should get that really big one. <laughs> we are at the wonderful land of Ikea, and it's windy and rainy and cold. Calvin and I went and checked the mail while Travis was at finance. Now we're at Ikea because we have like no storage in the bathroom or really anywhere in the house because we don't have any closets. 
So we're gonna try to find some mid-sized, small-ish storage things that we can put like in the bathroom and then maybe find a table situation. I'm not sure. see it when it's done because it's not going to make any sense and it's going to sound stupid so just wait. It'll be awesome. Okay, that's it. Okay. Well, you we are home now. Calvin's passed out of sleep. I'm going to put some lights on the Christmas tree because yesterday I found that all of the Christmas stuff we have is 120 or 110, and everything you hear is 220. So basically, I would just make all of our lights explode if I plug them in. Danica is on her way though because they got back today. She's gonna come and pick up the doggies. They're gonna be really excited to see their mommy, and I'm starving. <laughs> put together this shelf that we got for our bathroom by myself. Pray for me. I'm gonna watch Got Love's newest video and uh, attempt to work on this, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it by myself. So we'll see. It says this is not a one-man job. This is a two-man job. But I'm only one man, woman. love and McKenna just texted me and asked if I could call. You better believe I will. Hi! What you doing? Hey! <laughs> I'm actually watching your guys' video right now while putting together this shelf we just got. I promised him we would set up his track in his room if he cleaned his room. So, I did. now that I'm done, we're gonna set up the track. Because I cleaned up my room. Because you're a good boy, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So now we have nothing for our shoes, but I'm gonna have organization in my bathroom. Not sure this is gonna be enough uh, storage here, but I'll make it work for now. It is now about 11.45. I have been cleaning like crazy, and unfortunately my camera has been charging. So I can update you with what's been going on while Calvin goes and brushes his teeth because it's time for bed. Ready for bed? I love you. Sleep good. Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams. 
So far, I've gotten this done. I put our scarves and gloves in here, all of our winter hats in there, all of Zeke's stuff, umbrellas, Calvin's shoes, Travis's shoes, my shoes, my boots, my boots, my boots. <laughs> But everything is all organized in there now. Tomorrow we're gonna put up this coat hanger that we got probably on this wall right here. So it's not like overpowering right when you walk in the front door. I thought about putting it there, but then the bushier it gets with coats, the more this can't open all the way. So I think right there is a good spot because it's out of the way. Right here would also work. We could probably put it right here too, but I wanna get a small table for right here. So I don't know if that would be the best idea. These are wide hallways, which is good. So I could pretty much do whatever, but I need to figure it out. We rolled this rug out earlier and I'm still working on getting the corners to lay down all the way. But I ran an extension cord from back over there. You can just see it barely right here. And then it runs under the couch to right here. So we have a phone charger and a lamp right here behind the couch. This table is getting out of control messy though because I'm trying to organize things. I'm taking things off of that table and basically just setting them on this table. But our bathroom is pretty much done. Like, okay, random baby wipes. I need to figure out what I'm doing with all of those necklaces because I have this all organized now. I have a couple of towels up there. Our picture, soap, and then shower. I organized our towels. I put some in Calvin's bathroom. I think we just need to get another sort of similar corner shelf, maybe for this corner. Or if there's something that they make here that I could put like around this, because this is our problem right now. <laughs> Eventually I may get like a clothes basket or something to go here. Maybe some shelves or something. Maybe if this thing would fit under there. I don't think it will though. Travis put his map up on this wall yesterday and pretty much in here, there's not much else we can do right now. Also, we got some 220 light bulbs, so I put a new light bulb in here, but I don't know how he had it wired up. Um, he took it apart before we left and it hasn't been put back together yet because we didn't have a light bulb for it. But now that we do, he has his awesome nightstand back. Now we just need one for my side of the bed. There's still so many things we can do with this house. Like, if there was an outlet in this area, I would put a desk here. And this is where I work on videos. Because this little room here is perfect. There isn't a whole lot left for me to do now. And that's kind of exciting that I've, I've done most of everything we can do. I hadn't yet shown the table. We had this really good idea, but it didn't work out as well as we were thinking. Not because we did anything wrong, but because this base was a little bit bigger than we had expected. What happened, my love? <laughs> you pushed him off again? How do you keep pushing Ziki off your bed? I don't know. I'll help you. You guessed it. It's that time of day where I go to bed because it is 1.40 in the morning. But everything is done. I even got our stockings hung up. I organized all of this, not that you can see it, because it's darker than the inside of a cow in here. I actually need to wash my face, because if I don't wash my face before I go to bed, my face gets crazy. But if you guys enjoyed today's video, please, please, please give it a thumbs up for us. That actually helps. That helps a lot. Liking the videos tells YouTube we're doing a good job and you like our videos. It tells other viewers we do a good job and you like our videos. And it tells me that you're not mad at me for not posting a video yesterday. <laughs> Sorry. Excuse me. Hopefully this weekend we get to do some stuff. I think he may be having to work on Saturday because it's the squadron's Christmas party. And if you aren't going to the Christmas party, you get to work to make up for the people that are supposed to be working that are at the Christmas party. And because we just got here and we don't know anyone, we're not going. Plus, it's more expensive this year because Travis is an NCO this year. So that's another reason we're not going. But I appreciate all the support we've gotten and how excited everyone was 
when we got our stuff because I know everyone's been super excited because I've been super excited about getting our stuff and it means a lot to me that people are excited because we're excited and because we get to do things. I like it feeling like we're kind of just all in this together even though a lot of us have never met or maybe probably never will. I think it's really encouraging and humbling that so many people care. So thank you. Ah, oh, washed face, brushed teeth. Ah, bedtime. But now who's gonna turn off my light? <laughs> For now, that is that, and we will see you when we see you. Bye. Oh, no,